Hi, it's Mark Mustion here with my co-host Diane Roberts, and welcome back to Furious Fiction. Glad you're with us. We've got a great show today, a great guest who is John Jefferson. He's the Jefferson of Jefferson Bass, uh, the author of The Bone Thief and other, uh, other books. And John, welcome. Glad Thank you're you. with us. Uh, tell, tell us. Tell us what it's like uh, being a co-author, because uh, the Bass here is Dr. Bill Bass, the anthropologist. So, you know, tell us how that works. Sure. Yeah, my collaborator, uh, Bill Bass, is one of the great forensic scientists of the, of the modern era. He really uh, helped shape modern forensic anthropology. He's a, he's a bone detective. His greatest claim to fame is starting what's called the Body Farm up at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. The Body Farm. And, and ha how do you... Yeah, tell us about uh, yeah, that, because that yeah, in and of itself yeah. Tell us so about the Body Farm. The Body Farm. Uh, so we're lucky we're not on smell vision uh, The Body <laughs> Farm is it's basically it's three acres of woods in East Tennessee. They've put uh, a couple of fences around it. Uh, and they basically they study what happens to the human body after death and when it happens and how different variables like temperature and humidity and what kinds of conditions a body's in how those variables affect the rate at which the body decays and the uh, point of all this is so that when police or your neighbors find a body in you know your backyard or in the trunk of your <laughs> car or down in the crawl right. space happens under your lot. house yeah. you know the the uh, the police or forensic anthropologists can look at the condition that that body's in and say okay this person was probably killed you know, somewhere between 12 and 14 days ago, or, well, or and, and tell us. So tell tell us about the you know, how you got to the the writing part, and how did you you and Dr. Bass meet, and how did all how did all that sure. come about? Well, I used to, in a prior life, I was a television documentary maker, um, and I was making documentaries about fancy old hotels and <laughs> paintings in the Vatican and aircraft carriers and fighter planes. And but thought, you've done a lot of journalism too. Yeah, 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 I've, yeah, done, yeah, yeah I've done. Yeah, I've done. Yeah, I've had a you know. An interesting or checkered or <laughs> haphazard um, <laughs> career, pick the adjective you want. Um, but I thought, well, what would I be interested in doing some documentaries on? Because these were other people's ideas. And I thought, you know, I've always loved science. I love issues about um, kind of crime and punishment and justice. Um, and so I, th you know, I was living in Knoxville at the time where the body farm is based. And I thought oh, it would be cool to go hang out at the body farm with cam a camera crew for, for weeks and just watch what happens to somebody out there. Um, so I ended up making two one-hour documentaries about the body farm for National Geographic. Uh, and my favorite of the two was called Biography of a Corpse. <laughs> and we <laughs> followed a guy through from the time he, he came out of the cooler at the morgue and he went onto the ground out there until the time eight weeks later when the graduate student lopped off his skull and you know put his bones in the pot to simmer them and scrub them up and measure them. Wow. And the rest is, <laughs> you know. Um, but you know, you, so, you've, you've managed to make thriller fiction out of this stuff. I mean, you'd think if the people are already dead, what's the suspense? But you really, you write these kind of, they're sort of medical anthropological thrillers. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. And this one, the, the new one, The Boneyard, uh, I mean, the, I mean, there's both a modern crime in this book and, you know, and long ago crimes, which come to light once our hero, um, a fictionalized anthropologist, Bill Brockton, comes to Florida. Now, this is the first book, this is novel number six in the Body Farm series, uh, but it's the first one to be set in Florida. I moved to Tallahassee about two years ago, and, you know, I'm starting starting to learn my way around the great city of Tallahassee and the amazing Florida Panhandle. Um, so I wanted to set, I wanted to bring Brock, Dr. Brockton from Tennessee down to Florida and let him have some fun down here. And indeed, he does. <laughs> well, well, tell us how you write. I mean, so there's the two of you, right? You're co-authors, and you, know, you do the first draft. How does that work? Well, we're, I mean, we're called co-authors, but it's really more collaborators. I mean, he's the, he's the scientific forensic brains of the duo, and I'm the writer. And so it will kick around basic ideas for the plot. Uh, and we'll come to an agreement on that, which is you know, usually pretty quick and easy. We've, we've never really disagreed or argued about it. You know, mm -hmm. he, uh, Bass gives me a lot of freedom to kind of figure out what would be a cool story. We'll talk about what forensic anthropology techniques we want to bring in, because we, we want people to learn something from this book. He's a, you know, he spent decades as a university professor, so uh -huh. he's first and foremost a, a teacher. 
Mm -hmm. uh, he does this amazing research, and he's you know has done these amazing forensic cases. But his lifelong lo love is teaching, and so you know, we want people to learn something from the books. We don't want it to be like they're reading you're reading a textbook. Well, but you know, I but should say that that yes, people learn from the books, but they're so entertaining and they're witty. They're very witty with the oh, way you, you deal <laughs> with well, the, the way you. you deal with the you know. I mean, there's a certain level of humor to I don't know why dead bodies. Well, you have to but, have I think to survive yeah. in that field in law enforcement, particularly the homicide, or mm -hmm. you're really the really grim, dark corners of mm -hmm. law enforcement, you have to have gallows humor, I think, or you'll go insane, or you'll slit your wrists or something. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of humor in the books. And, and in fact, Bass himself, the real life, you know, bone detective, he's a funny guy. I mean, he's, you know, he, I mean, he's up to his elbows in gore, <laughs> uh, you know, but he's just, he's so cheerful, and he's so happy to be doing what oh, he's doing. Well, and and, so. and on, on that happy note, we've only got a few seconds left, so John Jefferson as our guest, his, his novel is The Boneyard. John, tell us, wh what's Bill Brockton doing next? Where does he go from here? Uh, Bill Brockton may go from the Florida panhandle and from investigating murders at this Florida, fictional Florida boys reform school. Uh, he may go to um, the south of France and to Italy to do something uh, involving uh, the Shroud of Turin and maybe some uh, mysterious bones that materialize wow. at the Ooh, palace. Yeah, of I the wish I was following along, following along with Bill Brockton, except maybe the bone part. So, yeah. Well, thank you for being with us again. Our guest is John Jefferson. I'm Mark Mustin with Diane Roberts. Thanks a lot for being with us on Furious Fiction. Glad to be here.